Okay, so here we've got our model for multiplying fractions, and remember this whole square right here is going to count as the whole. So if I look at my first step, uh, it says use the yellow panels to cover three of the four columns of the square. So I'm going to cover up three of four, or in other words, three quarters of that shape. So right now I'm taking three fourths and that's what I'm starting with. So then in step two I'm going to cover two of the four rows and now I'm looking at the rows covering two of those four rows with the purple. So I've got two of four covered so two of four is my other multiplier. So right now, one way of saying this is I've got two-fourths of three-quarters. So this model right here, this area model, really helps us to think about and to see what's actually happening when we multiply fractions. Because I'm taking a smaller portion of something that's already not a complete whole. So how many pieces here now actually have both colors, or how many pieces are what I'm calling orange? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those pieces. And right here it says what's my answer from step four. So if I've got six of those pieces, my answer here is six. And then step five asks me how many pieces are in the whole square? So each of these little pieces counts as a part of that whole. So I could count them all up, or I could say it's 4 times 4. So all together here, I've actually got 16 different pieces in that whole. So if I take 3 fourths, multiply it by 2 fourths, or if I said 2 fourths of 3 quarters, my answer is 6 sixteenths, which is actually a smaller piece of that whole. We can break that down further into 3 eighths. But I really want to show you the 6 sixteenths because if I did 3 times 2, I get 6. If I do 4 times 4, I get 16. And so that's how we multiply fractions.